Hi, this is Dancing Rabbit, and welcome to another Weekend Pagan Perspective. This week's question has to do with phrases that we use often as part of our practice. So I take it as kind of a, you know, a kind of a fun topic, kind of a lighthearted topic. I think the one that I use most often is probably Blessed Be. And yeah, it has the connotation that you're wishing the person blessing, that you are blessing them. Um, I generally use it more as a sort of pagan amen at the end of something to conclude it with, with blessed be. I guess maybe second place, I may actually use it more often, and it's been mentioned already, is the word hail. Um, when I'm calling quarters, I usually use the term watchtowers or lords of the watchtower. And, you know, sometimes I'm not really sure exactly what that's supposed to mean. I think that I picked it up from some of my very early um, Wicca 101 books of This is How You Cast Circle Call Quarters. I'm invoking the elements, the elementals, the... Um, you know, the seasons, and um, it usually begins with something like hail, uh, watchtowers of the east, powers of air. So I'm greeting. It's, um, I don't know, somehow hello or yo or howdy just doesn't seem quite proper when you're greeting one of the four elements or one of the deities that I'm invoking. In uh, opening or taking down the circle at the close of ritual, I've lately begun also using the uh, the phrase uh, "hail" and "farewell." I think at one time my um, closing out the circle, saying farewell to the quarters, um, sounded a little dismissal. It was kind of like, okay, uh, you guys can go now. And is that any way to speak to uh, a lord of the watchtower? Um, these are not our pets or our puppets. Uh, these are powerful forces, powerful archetypes, powerful spiritual entities, if you will. Um, for a while, I think had adopted um, a phrase that one of the members of our circle was using uh, to go if you will, um, stay if you must. Kind of like, well, we're not going to command these spiritual entities to leave. We're going to, you know, kind of give them the option of hanging out for a while if they don't feel like leaving yet. And I used that for a while, and then I guess I dropped it because it's uh, it's a little wishy-washy. Um, you know, if I were talking to a good friend and it was kind of time to go, I don't think that I would say, you know, well, if you want to leave, you can, and if you want to stay, you can, you know, hang out or whatever. I think I'd be a little clearer at my intent. So it's become hail and farewell. And so I guess maybe hail is not exactly hello. It's, uh, you know, okay, pay attention, I am speaking to you now, um, sort of thing. I don't use so mode it be that much. There are a few people that I've done ritual with uh, who would conclude some spell or invocation or devocation uh, with so mote it be, and we would all echo back, so mote it be. It's a little bit ceremonial, a little bit um, commanding for my taste. It's not that I see anything wrong with it, I just don't use it that much. But I guess, um, you know, those are probably the main phrases that I use. Uh, I've heard as above, so below, and... Um, the Wiccan read in its various parts, though I really don't quote them all that much. I think that the read is good advice. It's not absolute law. And I follow the read in most situations because it is good advice, but I don't often quote
quote it or state it in ritual or just in common practice. Um, so I guess, you know, that's maybe not all that exciting or earth-shattering, but I think this question really wasn't intended to be such. I do have an announcement or maybe reminder that um, my book, The Way of the Horned God, is on special this week. At least the Kindle version is. So if you have Kindle, I don't. Uh, I like paper books. Uh, you know, I know they're dead tree carcasses, but I still like the smell and the, the touch of paper. But if you you have a Kindle, uh, Way of the Horn God is on sale for the month of February for the amazing low price of 99 cents. So, you know, even if you have a copy, I'd really appreciate you, you know, buying the Kindle copy. I mean, it's only 99 cents. Maybe give it to a friend if that's possible. But, uh, you know, support Old Dancing Rabbit. My uh, second book is maybe a year or two off. I just kind of got uninspired and I would try to write and it would just come out as a mess. And so I just kind of stopped, put it on the shelf, let it sort of simmer. That's really the way I do a lot of things is sort of, uh, you know, if it's not coming to a boil and getting done now, I'll just put it on the back burner and let it simmer. So... Until next week when the question is a little bit more um, serious. I mean, I'm not saying this is frivolous. I'm, this one was fun. Um, this is Dancing Rabbit. Uh, check out the stuff, the link in the underbar, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.